What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here. On today's edition of Gear God's Quality Control, we're going to be taking a look at the 2018 Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray 5 bass. The model that I've got in for review is a white dual humbucker model with an off-white pickguard and a rosewood fretboard. Although if you're like me and rosewood isn't really your jam, you can also get it with a maple or ebony fretboard. You can access the myriad of tonal expression via the combination of a three-band EQ and a guitar-style five-way pickup selector switch and the flexibility is really kind of absurd. Now I'm gonna take you through the plethora of tonal options on the bass controls so that you can hear some of the different sounds that you can get out of the bass, and then I'll talk about it a little bit. The 2018 Stingray takes an already spectacular classic design and gives it a modern touch without losing what made it great in the first place. The Stingray is a bass that has a long and storied history, and like ACDC, has maintained its status as a rock and roll icon 
by sticking to a tried and true formula and never changing, because if it ain't broke, right? But even ACDC has undergone some changes recently, and so too has the Stingray for the first time ever. In 2018, Axl Rose fronts ACDC, and, a, and the Stingray base is lighter, more contoured, and has a new roasted maple color scheme. If you watch this channel a lot, you'll know that I am a stickler for contours on a guitar, and it seems to me that Ernie Ball has paid quite a bit of attention to updating the contours on the Stingray. We've got a much more rounded forearm contour, which is very comfortable, a substantial belly cut here, and the neck joint has been uh, shaped in such a way that it's very comfortable and easy to access the upper frets if that's what you're into. The new 18 volt preamp allows a cleaner and more dynamic expression with the increased headroom. A small but really nice improvement is the tuner buttons. I had a Stingray many years ago with the old style tuners that were just flat and they were not very friendly on the fingers but these are nicely tapered, rounded, and slightly thicker in the middle, and are very comfortable to use. Like many of the changes made to this new model, it's kind of a quality of life upgrade, because like I said before, the Stingray was already great. It just needed a little streamlining and some modern comforts, uh, like the new streamlined neck joint. This bass will get you just about any bass tone you might need, and even though it's sort of aimed at rock and metal players, it wouldn't be out of place in any genre that I can think of. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please smack that subscribe button for more reviews and original content, and I'll see you real soon.